Genetic technology has brought us to a new threshold, offering us the prospect of enhancing and even reproducing ourselves. Human cloning is currently banned in most countries, but many scientists see it as an inevitable reality. With cloning, we become the creator, able to mold DNA like clay. And with the ability to shape life in the image of ourselves, but would any of us really be the same as our genetic clone? Professor John Bryant is a molecular biologist who now teaches bioethics. A scientist called Dick Seed in Chicago, he said he wanted to clone himself so that he would have everlasting life. That it, almost as if it was himself going to come to life again. And I thought, you foolish man. Another woman said she wanted to clone her father so she could cradle him in her arms. Again, how foolish, it's not your father. A clone would differ from its original, says John Bryant, because we're not just our DNA. Our identity also emerges as we relate to our environment and others. So, as a believer, what is Bryant's final verdict on human cloning? How would he view a clone? As a soulless robot? For the sake of um, arrogance and for the sake of, if you like, uh, wishful thinking and for the sake of selfishness, all those things, I think I would reject human cloning. But on the other hand, I think if a human clone were to be born, he or she would be a spiritual being because that's how God has made us.